In this lecture, I'm going to show you how to use Excel's autofill function to put sequential dates and days of the weeks into a spreadsheet. We're now going to add the dates of our month into this column here. So I'm going to put the first date of the month, like so. Now, if I was to copy and paste it, I would click on the cell, put Control C on my keyboard, come to the next cell and put Control V. And then I would have a duplicate dates. But what we want is we want sequential dates. So what we need to do for this is you come to your cell and you click on it. You put your first date or your day into the cell and then you come to the corner and when you get to the corner your mouse pointer will change to a, a plus sign. So you now click and hold and drag down and as you can see the dates are increasing as I scroll down the screen. So we're going to stop when we get to the end of October. There we go. And we automatically have the dates filled in. We can repeat this method for days of the week. So if you type in the first day of the week and then come to the corner. Now another way of effectively copying and pasting is you could hold down the control button and then click on the corner. You notice there's an additional little plus sign there and click and drag but then we get Monday, 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 Monday which we don't want. So what we're going to do is do exactly the same process, come to the corner where it's a single plus, click our left mouse button and drag it all the way down to the end of our month. And there we have our dates and our days. We'll just increase the size of that column by double clicking it so it all fits nicely. There we go. In summary, in this lecture, I've shown you how to use the autofill function to add sequential dates and days of the week to your spreadsheet, which differs from using the copy and paste function. I'm Jennifer Bailey, and thank you for watching.